Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with the next round of the NU Open. I believe this is round two. I'm playing UmPM. Uh, he's actually someone who I see very frequently in my um, my Twitch chat. So he's a subscriber, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm using this Volturn team that Blunder passed me. It actually is really... Well, it's not Volturn. Well, it is Volturn because two Pokemon have it. But it's just good. It's just good, basically. Um, Weavile is amazing in this because of Pursuit Traps. Miss Magius. His team is really cool as well. Um, let me just mod join. Fun, bro. Now, that should be really fun. Uh, Slowbro kind of just wins. Though I do have to be careful around to about Toxic. I want to be careful or mindful of... Um, <laughs> nice. I want to be... So it looks like he has his team. But I want to be mindful of... Um, of Steelix. So... I'm gonna lead off with Sneasel because basically Sneasel can trap Miss Magius if he wants to lead off with that. I get rid of it early on in the game, and uh, if he leads off with a Dodrio, I mean I have two switchins. Yeah, I have two decent switchins right here, uh, and one he doesn't really have a good Scald switchin regardless. So I'm gonna go Slowbro right here as he goes right for return. He does a decent chunk. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't. I believe that's Choice Band. It has to be Choice Band. I'm gonna calculate though just because I don't want to like go off my gut. And have that always have that be uh, not choice ban, but it should be. Choice scarf does twenty seven to thirty three. Uh, that could be choice ban. All right, so that's definitely not choice ban. Um, let me just calc how much Z Braybird does to me, fifty one to sixty one. So I live that as well. So I'll go for the scald here. Looks like the best no drawback play as he goes out into Whimsicott. So that's more than likely Scarf Dodrio. Um, Whimsicott does come out a little bit of a threat, I'm not going to lie. I do have Stalix that can come in for the most part. I think Vikavolt is just really good here though. I want to keep Vikavolt healthy because of the um, Girder, but I could just Moonblast here too. I would Moonblast if I were him. We'll make the Steelix play. Getting up rocks would be nice pretty early. He just goes for U-turn, so. All right, so not bad for me. Uh, Girder can definitely come out. It is a giant threat. Miss Magius comes out, however. Now, this is a problem uh, because Shadow Balls are going to hurt. Uh, being will o would also hurt. Never-ending Nightmare would be annoying. Uh, Sneasel should be able to take one, though I want to be sure that Sneasel takes one. Never-ending Nightmare. Ghost DMZ, Dazzling Gleam. I take that. And I take a never ending nightmare. So, yeah, we're gonna go directly into Sneasel right here. Only attack I don't take is Twinkle Tackle. And plus, I get a knockoff on something. So, I'll definitely take this. I'm not gonna bother pursuing. I'd rather get rid of Steelix's item or War Turtle's item, uh, especially because I do have. Very smart of him to go for the uh, Will O Wisp there, but especially because I do have um, Zatu that can come in on this always and just chip away at him with Rocky Helmet. Yeah, especially because of that, I wanna be. I want to be smart with this, so we're actually going to U-turn here because I can always roost on it later. I expect him to go Miss Magius, exactly. I would go Miss Magius there. And at this point, Ember doesn't have a, uh, a switch in, but I believe Miss Magius is now going to be in range of... He might uh, go for Pursuit. He might expect me to go for Pursuit here because I can knock him out. So I believe that knockoff is still my best play. Always, yep. Uh, I unfortunately get a crit, but it was Spooky Plate, so I don't think it mattered. It wasn't Z, it was Spooky Plate. So it definitely didn't matter, but because that was... Spooky play, I'm thinking Dodrio might be Supersonic Sky Strike or uh, the other thing that gives it plus two attack. So I want to be mindful of that. I definitely want to be mindful of that. Let's just gonna go for a knockoff here. If he's Scarf, that's fine. Um, I don't want him to get plus two attack. Embor can always check as well. So I want to find out just 100% if he's Scarf or not. And plus he might double predicting me, yep, he might double predicting me to want to go out into Slowbro as he actually goes out into Girder, so that's not bad at all uh, because I can beat that thing 1v1. Yeah, Vikavolt just does so much damage to him. I can see him knock, uh, mock punching or uh, or bulking up. Because my Slowbro is a Z-move one, I'm not as worried about Girder, especially because his knockoff isn't going to do too much. I'm going to hit him with a Calm Mind. Like the straight up Calm Mind. Like, Slowbro can win the game right now, so I don't see a reason not to. Uh, Miss Magus being gone is the biggest threat that he had to pressure me offensively, and I do have Vikavolt in the back, which can just do so much damage to him. And I think I'm just going to go right for the Z move uh, and just attempt to Yoko him or hit Whimsicott, uh, because this is going to do a lot. This is going to do a lot. Yep, gone. 
So Hydro Vortex is able to get rid of Girder because I did knock out a Violite, and that's a giant threat gone. Um, this can beat Steelix. This can beat a lot of his team, and I just click Flare Blitz now too. War Turtle doesn't have recovery. Uh, it's running a Violite, so it's looking good. It's definitely looking good, especially if I knock it off. And I can also spam Bug Buzz with um, I can also spam Bug Buzz with Choice Specs Vika Volt now. Like I said, if he does go Dodrio, it doesn't matter if he goes for a Supersonic Sky Strike. It w doesn't knock me out. It does 62% max, I believe that was what the calc said. Something like that. Uh, it should it should do enough. He goes War Turtle. I can see him Toxicking. I don't mind. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go directly into my Zatu right here. Uh, if he goes for Skull, it's still a good play as well. But Embor just being, if I do talk to this thing, that'd be great, yeah. So we're able to magic bounce that back, nice. And what I can do, I believe, is just U-turn. I don't want him to, I don't want him going Dodrio on a free switch or Steelix. Surprise, he brought in Steelix. Now I can go Embor and just click Flare Blitz, and I think that's always the play. Uh, especially because War Turtle's on a timer now, and no fire. Like, obviously War Turtle is a great fire uh, resist, but the fact that it is toxic, it's not going to be able to come in much at all. Yeah, so we will right back on the Zatu. It doesn't matter if he scalds, seismic tosses, or whatever he wants to do. The main objective is to keep him from. Um, the main objective is to keep him from. Uh, keep him from uh, toxicing my uh, my slow bro. And this is 120 base power. This will do a lot. And heavy slam will put him in range. It'll put him in range of the next attack. And I can actually I have psychic right here, so I can afford to go for psychic just in case he doubles out into Dodrio. Nice, nice, nice. That sucks. That actually does suck. Uh, we are going to take... We're going to do our best play though possible, which is going slow, bro. That crit definitely sucked. And I just spam Psy Shock here because it knocks out Dodrio. That crit sucked because it always put it in range of choice ban. Um, I want to say it always put it in, him in range, I guess. But it's uh, like it always put it in range of choice ban Ice Shard now, even when I'm burnt. And Whimsicott can have Z-Memento. We're gonna go Embor here. Even if he wants to see Memento, I don't care. I don't mind him uh, him Moonblasting either because I always bring in Embor after. And I gotta keep Steelix healthy because it beats um, it beats Dodrio even if that, that gets the Memento So Now at this point, I go directly into my Embor and click Flare Blitz. If this is the Memento, that's fine. He does have priority, obviously, and there's not much I can do about that. But Steelix drops, Dodrio drops, and War Turtle will be 2 KO'd. So he does stack Steelix, yep. That was definitely the correct play. War Turtle is going to come out. I'm just going to make the uh, the Vika Volt play and win the game um, quickly with it. Because I just spam Bug Buzz now. Yeah, that Scald isn't going to do too much at all. Vika Volt eats, man. And this is Choice Specs Bug Buzz, so it gets me a kill right now. Um, and I also eat a hit from Whimsicott. I think people are PMing me. Hey, man, I'm a big fan. Good luck in the corner. Thank you, Broski. Appreciate that. So, we knock out War Turtle. Dodrio's Brave Bird uh, may knock me out, but he goes for Jump Kick. I, there was no point in me switching out, especially because I can go Steelix after and just click Heavy Slam and win. So we're going to be able to uh, break through his team right here with the Choice Specs Vika Volt, and it just put in a lot of work versus him. So nice. All right, so let me actually pick my uh, second team that I want to use. Broken Machamp Wonder. See, this seems like a, a fire team. Yeah, we're going to use this Broken Machamp. As Blender would say. The issue is if he has his own Vikable, but I think we're, we'll be okay with versus it. If he wants to bring the same team that I brought. So, we're going to swap it over to this next team. Import all them mons. And uh, let me challenge him real quick. To game two. And you beta. Also the Swine Blender. I might use that team again though. But I like the Broken Machamp Blender team. It's really good. Let's get out here real quick. Oh, but yeah, like I said, it is the best two out of three. Um, and looks like he's running similar teams. He really likes Dodrio. Have fun, broski. He really likes Dodrio, and his team is actually really fire. Like, his team is good. Uh, I think it's a lot better than it was the, the first one was anyway. Uh, Slowbro's really good in this, but so is his. I have to be careful. I have to be very careful, especially about his Leaf Storming, Rotom, which is such a great lead versus me, too. I only lead off with Sceptile, and I was going to say just click Leaf Storm if he led off with his Rotom, but he leads off with Embor, 
So I could definitely see him going for a wild charge, but it'll just take more damage off of him than anything. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. I did not see that coming. That's so cool, the fact that he has Toxic on Embor. So we're going to throw off um, a nice little Scald over here as he goes out into his Slowbro, and this is a problem now. This is very much a problem. However, again, Sceptile doesn't have the best switch-ins on his team. I'm assuming he's Calm Mind as well. Should I burn him? I can always go out to Steelix after, but then I'm worried about Dodrio. I'm going to double Scald. Because uh, Sceptile can come in and he might double. Yep. Uh, though it doesn't work out the most for me, still damage is damage on Rotom. And he has no reason not to Leaf Storm here. Does damage on Drapion matter? Not really. I'll, I won't die to it anyway, and Drapion doesn't do much late game. I may, well, his team is kind of grounded outside of these two, so maybe it can. This will be a tough one. I definitely need Rocks up, Pronto. Um, smart of him to go for Voltage. That looks to be Scarf, just based on the damage and the fact that I saw no item. Oh, I'm still in this game. Embor does come out. And we'll always go slow, bro, if you want. He's probably going to double out to Rotom again. But if he throws off a Flare Blitz, that's fine. Is that support? Because I did nothing, man. Yeah, and always throwing off Scalds. Like, if I weaken his... This is a switching, in, M-Board's a switch in, and Skuntank is a switch in. So the, the... What I'm trying to do is weaken them both. I can see him uh, Leaf Storming this time. As he Thunderbolts. Oh, he's Bloom Doom. That's what he is. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to play off of getting up rocks. He's going to Bloom Doom me right here. We're going to have to play off um, getting up rocks in order to beat the... Uh, getting up rocks to beat Dodrio and trying to pressure him with that. Uh, we're going to go out to Sigilyph here on the Bloom Doom or Leaf Storm. That works too. That definitely works too. And uh, Heat Wave is my strongest attack and it also hits Gun Tank, so I might as well go for it. This is going to be tough, man. Because Skuntank's going to be able to come in and defog, but at least I get off damage on him. If he opts to stay in, I'm still thinking this is Bloom Doom, but it could still be Z uh, slow, bro. Uh, we unfortunately miss, so he'll be able to defog here, but we'll go out to Machamp and just do some damage to him. Get my Guts boost activated early on. And just go for close combat. If he wants to go slow, bro, that's fine. Um, it beats me, so it's not 100% fine, but... Yeah, this would be tough, man. I kind of wish I brought the Vikavolt team again. Hmm. Well, Sephtal still has no switching, so I'm going to go out to that and just click Leaf Storm. Actually, this is bad. Because he can go Rotom Mo and then Revenge Kill me. I'm pretty sure I don't 2-it KO Skuntank. Do I? Let me check. Because if Sephtal 2-it KO Skuntank, then... Sephtal... Custom set. If I 2 a KO Skuntank, then I'll take it. It's definitely Lumberry too. I do not 2 a KO him. Oh, Giga Drain's still the better play. Uh, again, Sceptile's trying to get recovery in as well as um, go for its own win right here. I can see him doubling out to Rotom. Uh, but uh, he's definitely going to double, but I have to make the Slowbro prey anyway. As he goes for Wild Charge. I think that's Belt. I think that has to be Belt. We're going to double to Sigilyph because I, I have Steelix as a switch-in, and this also lets me scout for what that might be, and this also covers the Rotom switch -in. Yep, I figured. So it still sucks that I, I missed that Heat Wave early on on uh, Skuntank because I'm trying to win with Giga Drain now, but we're still going to go for it. We're still going to go for this Heat Wave right here. Uh, it will do, it'll still do a decent chunk as he goes directly into Slowbro. I think Thunder Waving Slowbro is my way of beating it, honestly. That's how I'm going to let my champ beat it. So, Plus this deals with any double he can make outside of Skuntank. But Skuntank is more than likely Lumberry. Now this is a tough one, man. This is definitely a tough one. Toxic Embor was so clean on his part early on. And I had one switch in anyway. Like if I had Zatsu, I would always pivot into Zatsu on, Skunt on Embor. That was clean. He should just throw off a Scald here. I really want a Heat Wave again. I think I'm just... Ugh. I'm a Heat Wave again. Let's see if we can... Like, Thunder Waving is smart, but if he if he does try and double into Rotom... He's in such a good position if he gets Rotom in. That's the thing. But he doesn't have to go directly into it. He can double after. So if he wants, he can throw off a Scald here. Or Psy Shock. That works too. Yeah, because we'll get in Slowbro now. On the next side shot. 
I am HP Ice. I can see him side shocking again, but I'm gonna double out to my Sega Lift. Let's see if he stays in. He does opt to go for Calm Mind. All right, so we're definitely in a Thunder Wave this Mon and attempt to beat him 1v1 with my champ and whatnot. Now that he's Thunder Wave, uh, it'll be easier-ish. And we can just go out to Sceptile and just click Giga Drain. It'll do enough. It'll do a decent chunk to Embor as well. Uh, if he wants to go out into his... Will Skun Tank be 2 a KO'd? He's turned his 48 to 57. 24 to 28. Nope. It won't be to a kill, but his pursuit doesn't kill me. And if he goes Embor, I am guaranteed faster then. I am, right? Isn't Scarf Embor like a few points slower than me, if I'm not mistaken? No, it's actually faster. Is that Scarf set though? Let me calc my uh, let me check my slow bar real quick. Christian see it. Embor. What, what all out is that all out attacker the choice band set? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. I had no idea. Alright, we're gonna go slow bro again as he doubles out to Rotom. Very, very, very good play. Because he can just fire off a leaf storm here. I have to go Sceptile though. Always have to go Sceptile. That has to be Scarf Embor, right? If it's Cox, it has to be Scarf. Don't paralyze me, please. Thank you. Let's click Giga Drain on whatever sack he wants to make right now. Um if he bloom dooms me, then. It sucks for me, obviously. I, I he's just playing. Sp I love how his Pokemon. He has PK. His name is <laughs> That's funny. Ideally, he goes Skuntank or or like Steelix and lets me just wear them down. Because again, Sceptile is the mon that does the most work in this game. Rune's probably gonna burn me if anything, or Volt Switch. I don't have very good switches to this. What a mo. It's not Choice Scarf, but 31 to 36 isn't bad damage at all, though. Especially that's in, that's in range of being 2 a KO. Like, I might have to outplay the Pursuits, though. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I just saw a replay. I, I passed him. It was funny. It was Somalia versus uh, Martial Law, and uh, Somalia had the wrong duck trio. It had Sandvale, and he won because he dies the last move. It was amazing. He didn't even know he had the wrong ability until, like, it actually happened, so it was awesome. My champ is still really good. I have to keep Silex alive though for Dodrio. I need rocks up. I'm like Pronto. I think he's, he's just calculating to see if Skuntan takes the hit. Which it does easily. Uh, we already saw the Skuntan set. Oh, we, there wasn't Black Sludge, so I'm actually not sure. It could be just be max speed. Yeah, it goes Embor first, which is smart. Skuntank gets to come in. Dodrio. Okay. Interestingly enough, goes Dodrio first. Would he Brave Bird here or knock off? I mean, Slowbro is so easy for me to go into. I'm going to make the Steelix play. As he goes for Swords Dance. Oh, no. Is it all out pummeling? If it's all out pummeling, that's bad. I have to hope it's not all out pummeling. Yeah, okay. So, I need Rocks up. He's life orb. Okay, that's not that bad. I need rocks up so I can beat him down with my um, with my septile's next attack. So we'll just roar. I could have also roared him, but like I said, I do need rocks up. He has no reason not to go for return. Yep. All right. So this is a giant problem, but septile's leaf storm should KO. I know specs HP. I know my specs HP ice will KO. At least under seventy nine to ninety three. I think it's worth going for because if he goes Skun Tank, if he goes hard Skun Tank, I get two a KO with rocks up now. So it's definitely worth going for. And that's the idea situation for me that he does go Skun Tank. Oh my god. And we landed it too. So nice. He gave me Slowbro right there. Nice. I could not have asked for a better turn. I was hoping Skun Tank, but that worked. That was so good. It's still possible now, especially with Giga Drain. The fact that he's Life Orb Dodrio. Rotomo comes out. Machamp? No, I need Machamp alive. I got a Leaf Storm. And then go Machamp, right? 
Uh, this is going to be close. He's going to Bloom Doom here, too. I think the play is to try and win with Slowbro plus Sceptile, so yeah, I have to go Machamp here. At least he's in range of Giga Drain. Yep, there's the Bloom Doom. All right. Sceptile comes back out. I click Hidden Power Ice here, don't I? Yeah, I click Hidden Power Ice because it doesn't allow Dojo to come back in. Uh, if he goes... He has to keep this thing alive, doesn't he? So he can actually do some damage to slow, bro. How much do I do to Sceptile Giga Drain? Actually, yeah, Giga Drain's a play. I do enough to Sceptile. I, I mean, Dojo with Giga Drain after rocks, yeah. I do enough. And he goes Licks first. Nice. Nice. Oh, I'm getting my recovery back. We take that. We take that. Come on, buddy. Don't be a low roll. Nice. So we're actually back at full. There's still a lot of potential here. There's definitely potential here. It doesn't matter if he pursuits. Because I can HP Ice win right now. And I have to throw off my Z-move immediately. I can HP Ice win right now. I have to throw off my Z-move, like I said. Please, 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 slow bro. No! I won the game right there! Oh my god, I won. All I had to do was hit him and then I HP Ice swept. Crap, man. Ah. Uh, I can always dodge Fire Blast, I suppose. And because he's max special... I mean, there's nothing to calc. I have to go for HP Ice. Focus Blast. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, Fire Blast doesn't kill Sceptile. HP Ice is 36 to 42. I have to go for it. That's my only play. Like, I literally have to go for this. Ah! If you give me the 42 roll, I win 100%. I mean, I, I, if, I guess if he burns me, or he has Quick Attack on Dodri, I lose. But SD return non braver he could be Quick Attack. He definitely could be Quick Attack. Alright, I get the crit. But I don't dodge a Fire Blast. He does not burn me, though. Does he have Sucker Punch? Or does he have Pursuit? I don't know. Yeah, this is where, obviously, I, I won the game if I hit the Hydro Vortex, because then nothing can set up on me. But if he does have Quick Attack on Dodra, he wins now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, Seth's not putting so much work this game. Jesus. He has to be Quick Attacked. I mean, I could see Brave Bird, obviously, but I don't think it makes much sense with Life Orb. There's no way you're not Quick Attack. He's just making it closer. Not quick. He's really not quick attack? Ah. Moet. Ah, uh, Moet failing him. Are you serious? I'm not going to believe it until oh, wow, I win the game. All right, so we end up winning 2-0. Uh, the, the second matchup was... <laughs> I cancel. No, he left. I was going to tell him I canceled my earlier stream for him. Because <laughs> I actually uh, scheduled with him. In, well, I scheduled him on Smogon, but then I talked with him on stream just to make sure. But, wow. Wow. I think there were some plays, like, definitely, like, if he never switched out and brought in Skuntank, I played around it as if it was Pursuit Skuntank. It didn't cross my mind that he could be special. And I actually love special Skuntank, too. But that's incredible. I'm, I'm happy I won, obviously. And that Sceptile was able to bring it back. Sceptile killed Gator, Slowbro. I think Sceptile killed every Mon on his team. Yeah, Sceptile killed Embor. It killed Skuntank. It killed Rotom. It killed... Sceptile killed every Mon on his team. This Mon is firing in you. I understand why it was banned <laughs> last generation. Uh, in any case, guys, thank you everybody for watching. We end up winning 2-0, so we make it to the next round of the NU Open. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, of course, feel free to leave a like. And, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like Combine Slowbro was just so good. I wish I was on this team. Oh, you got Jaw. I'm going to take that as me. <laughs> all right, but uh, Umpium, good game, bro. I think I mixed up my time zones, too. Um, but I hope you guys all enjoyed, of course. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.